Hi, this is Simply Jane, and it's time to visit the cultural center of the Philippines. See, look at this. You're looking at the facade. We're actually on Ross Boulevard, and we're riding just in front of this cultural center of the Philippines. Are you wondering what those are? Actually, they were already grouped together because they were supposed to be retrieved by the owner. Today, June 2, it's a Thursday. So I came early this morning and I saw these people cleaning up. So they're actually mowing the lawn just in front of CCP. I like the smell of newly cut grass. It's so refreshing. Anyway, we came here not to clean up. <laughs> we came here to, to visit CCP and get inside. Of course, it's not my first time. I've been here twice in the past. Uh, the first time was when I watched Swan Lake. And that was a beautiful ballet presentation. The second time was when I came here to see the exhibits. There were metal, brass, uh, copper, and... Uh, some gongs that I saw there were also carvings wood carvings beautiful it was a beautiful exhibit but that was a long long time ago and now I'm here I'm back just to to present to you as a vlogger now this time for the first time as a vlogger so oh but uh, this is closed this area here is closed so we cannot pass through here but I know there's a side entrance so we will be passing through the side entrance instead did you know that this was built from 1966 to 1969 and it was designed by two national artists the first one is Leandro Loxin for the architecture and Ildefonso Santos Jr. for the landscape architecture. Upon seeing the CCP, Henry Byro, the U.S. ambassador to the Philippines, exclaimed, That center makes our Kennedy Center look cheap. <laughs> so these are the explanation of the exhibits, uh, the black figures, the, the sculptures that we saw actually on the lawn. Uh, was Kaingin. The title was Kaingin. There's a Morsolo here and the other one is the 13 Artists Award 2021. So after following the necessary health protocols and also writing my name on the logbook, presenting my ID, so I'm here now entering the side entrance. Okay, and I will be going to the library. So let's check the library but of course we'll have to pass through this hall and as you can see there's a beautiful mural here it's a wood carving made by the paete woodworkers based on the painting of carlos Botón francisco entitled abuse of the spanish authorities so we're on our way upstairs and we're supposed to go to the third floor guys so we will pass through this elevator I hope there will be no brown out. <laughs> I will be alone in this <laughs> elevator. And so today will be another day of discovery here at CCP, Cultural Center of the Philippines. So if you are a cultural history buff like Simply Jane, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so that you will always be updated every time we release a new video. Here we go guys! It's time to discover a lot of things here. Wow, there must be exhibit rooms here. I hope they are open but wow what are they doing down there oh it's like uh, they're trying to have a training a training on rescue and something I don't know but uh, it looks like it so here is the first exhibit that we will be viewing today so this is part of the exhibit of 13 artist awards 2021 and uh, I have no idea actually what this is all about. Let's try to see the explanation here. Surely there are some title and explanation here. But I could not see anything so far. I'm sorry guys, I cannot explain. But what I see actually are scaffoldings and there is some kind of a structure inside. 
Okay, I, I wouldn't know how to explain this, except uh, of course, or the artists themselves should do the explaining. So, anyways, there are no titles. It's not, the works are not labeled. They are not labeled at all. But uh, if I would say something, perhaps in my Augustinian lens, we build the structure using knowledge. The scaffolding is knowledge. But once the structure is done, only love remains. So that's how I see it, guys. If you have some kind of interpretation, please comment down below. Oh, I want to see those people again down there. It would be nice to go down there. But you see, I was not able to pass through the glass door, guys. Uh, because, of course, they have this activity right now. So anyway, let's go to the other side. And uh, there are some paintings here. Let's see what's written here. Oh, these are some names. Names of participating artists, I suppose. So they are Alan Balisi, Nice Buenaventura, Gina Bueza, Mars uh, Bogawan, Rocky Kahigan, Jeloy Concepcion, Patrick Cruz, Ian Carlo, Haushan, Kowloon, Azar uh, Christoph, Lou Lim, Ryan Villamael, Catherine Sarah Young. This exhibit is here from March 10 to 5 June 2022. So we're just on time. So these wall paintings are actually a set of small paintings uh, by Alan Balisi, which are actually site specific. They speculate on the afterlives of mannequins uh, the artists encountered in storage at the CCP. Yun, buti na lang may maingay sa baba. <laughs> Ayan. I'm alone here. <laughs> At uh, medyo hindi maganda ang pakiramdam. <laughs> Pero anyway, sige, punta tayo doon sa medyo may tao. Okay, what's that? Ayan, ayan, ayan. Merong isa doon. So, ah, Okay. So, here, actually, there's a docent who accompanied me. So, there's a guard in Barong. Scale model, I hope. CCP complex po. Oh, CCP complex. Oh, yes, ang buong. Wala na. Yung mga bago tayo, wala na. Oh, wala na. Opo, yung original. 1969 po, sir, no? Opo. Ayun. Ayun siya. Pero hindi, yun siya. Ito. Ah, dito tayo. Kala ko naman doon. Yung bigot doon. Ito na siya, yung hardcore square na siya. Yung Vican, Harbor Square, yes. Nakapunta na po ako sa Harbor Square. Ang dami pong kainan pala doon yung kuya, no? Uh, yes. Doon yung Fog Arts Theater. Opo. Oh, Ay, nakapunta ako doon. PICC. PICC yan, yes. Yung sa mga graduation. Sofitel. Sofitel. Opo. Oh, yung Sofitel po ba, private? May ari ay hindi government ng Pilipinas. Parang mm -hmm. private, private, oh, po, private na po, no? Tapos ito po ang Film Center. Film Center na napaka... Pero ito, yung mga <laughs> lagun dyan, wala na po. Yung... Wala na. Ayun po yung Coconut Palace. Saan po? Ayun yun, yung Coconut Palace. Opo. Oh, ito naman, hindi maliit pa siya. Oh, maliit pa siya. Ayan, ang Dolomite Sand. Ayan pala, oh. Tapos, ayan yung Harbor Square. Oo, na-cover ko na po yung Harbor Square noong nakaraan. Sabi ko, talagang... Zoom nyo. I-zoom ko, naka-zoom na po. Tapos zoom out ko siya, ganyan, no? Oh. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Ang nangyari natin ni, ano, Mr. Simpson, malaki na yan. Yung alin po? Yung natin. 
Ayate. Ah, kay Simpson yan. Yung, yung pinakamalaki po doon. Ito. Sinapyan yung mga... Ah, uh, mga beauty queens. Opo, yung mga beauty queens nandiyan daw. Oo, nagsumakay sila dyan. Yan, yan, yan. Okay. Nasubukan ko na rin po nga noon. Yung, ayaw ko kung saan ako sa balcon nito ba yun. Mura lang yun siguro. Parang no? tao doon ngayon, kuya. Ah, may umuo pa. Tapos, pero hindi na po ang about kultura. Tungkol po sa kultura. Ayan ang Star City. So, may mga ano sila yun? May mga records sila na... Ay, opo. Tama, mga records. So guys, these are a collection of trophies that were awarded to some people. Okay, artists of course. So for example, this one, Catholic Film Awards. Executive Order No. 80, dated March 5, 1999, transferred the Cultural Center of the Philippines, CCP, Commission on Philippine Language, CFL, National Museum, NM, National Historical Institute, NHI, the National Library, TNL, and Records Management and Archives Office, or ARMAO, to the NCCA for Policy Coordination. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or NCCA, formulates and implements policies and plans that will conserve and promote the nation's historical and cultural heritage. It ensures the widest dissemination of artistic and cultural products among the greatest number of people here in the country and overseas for their appreciation and enjoyment, preserves and integrates traditional culture, and its various creative expressions as a dynamic part of the national cultural mainstream and ensures that standards of excellence are pursued in programs and activities implementing its policies. Wow, ang swerte natin guys. Wala ka tao-tao except yung mga nagde-training po doon, no? Something like yung parang rescue. Uh, eto, tingnan natin to. It's a wall painting. Ayan, it's oil on canvas. 
Ah, gawa pala ito ni Cesar Legaspi, National Artist 1990, gawad CCP para sa sining. Yan po yung kanyang untitled na Oil on Canvas. So, pag wala pong guide, kailangan na lang talagang magbasa ka para matuto. <laughs> so, I hope guys you're having fun enjoying this trip to the CCP or Cultural Center of the Philippines ganyan so thank you also na sinamahan nyo ako sa araw na ito kasi ayan, ay sayang it's a plain white wall but anyway, akit tayo sa hagdan kasi hindi tayo dumaan dito kanina ayan, at bababa ulit <laughs> wala lang talagang magawa <laughs> ayan po Ayan guys, I hope you enjoyed our trip to the Cultural Center of the Philippines. See you again on our next vlog and I hope you learned a lot of things from this episode. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.